I have been filming balloons for a long time, as well as filming a lot of modded content. We've filmed over a thousand modded balloons TV6 videos, and some of these mods were amazing, but unfortunately kind of slid under the radar. Some mods we've put tons of time and man hours into, but unfortunately they didn't really perform well on release. So today I'm going to be playing homage to some of my favorite balloons mods that really got the attention I think that they deserve. We're going to be taking a look at some of the coolest, most epic mods that you might have missed on the channel. So this is a mod called the Remote Control Tower, and the whole concept of this mod was you are able to literally create a tower that you could control literally by like a remote control by using your keyboard and mouse. As you can see, look, it's literally you move it around with WASD and you're able to fire with this. Let's Once see. Once you run out of ammo, you can't shoot anymore. So I have to make sure that we reload as well. That's so fun. <laughs> okay, I got to reload. I can't hear should oh just the fact that I was able or the fact that I was able to move around a character right and like I was interactively playing with the game this wasn't no longer balloons tower defense this was like third person balloons this was a new era of content here and you even had like an ammo so you had to reload your ammo as well which made it even more fun I love that I can kind of like go through to like see like the peak points wait is it have to do with them getting sticky glued Oh, that's right. That was a glitch where Maybe. sometimes the, the glue would turn I think green. It has to do this mod is actually so hype. I wish we would have done more with these types of mods, but people just weren't really that interested in it. Like, we tried to do one with Sada. We tried to do one with some of the other characters as well, and people just didn't think it was that cool. I thought this mod was so much fun. What hero would we basically want to be able to see them upside down? We didn't get to see what they would look like. Pat Fusty. Pat Fusty. I want to see Pat Fusty's beautiful vol voluptuous bottom that's what i <laughs> so this mod basically it turned all of the characters upside down so you <laughs> everything was just upside down why did we decide that this was a thing i don't know but this mod was hysterical absolutely hysterical we got to go through an upside down banana farm like what it's literally so cursed looking. And it also, it sh- They lied to us. They said there was a dart monkey there. There ain't no dart monkey. That's a lie. That's a blatant lie. It's really interesting when you see this is because you can see that it's not directly a top-down game. That, like, the, the monkeys are at, like, a slight angle like this. Because you're not looking directly down. You're kind of looking at, like, this angle, if that makes sense. I want to just play the game while I look at the, the screen like this. <laughs> what am I doing? Like, I'm gonna, gonna do that. I'm gonna look over and do yeah. that way. Prince of Darkness. Well, Ray, you do. The Prince of Darkness actually looks kind of cool because there's just the purple chair. That is actually hype. The, okay, this is really melting my mind. Tower Defense, you can get a secret vengeful sun god temple. A true yeah. sun god temple that's black and red and epic and super powerful, which got me thinking, what if there were other towers that had a vengeful property? Yo, what the heck? Now we're out here making some big money. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Can't hit camo? Look at him. He actually can't. That's so strange. So it wasn't just the village. We're going to lose now. Ah! We lost, dude. Yeah. That's so weird. This is the first time I've ever seen a tower get worse as you upgrade it. It actually got worse. That's fine. We're about to get I do the, remember the, that. The I do remember upgrade. this tower actually did critical get worse. Cutter. Five vengeful glaive. The critical cutter. Yo, he hit. Oh, yo. It cut, 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 cut. He cuts That's it like me. a tomato arc. He's like, cut, cut, <laughs> cut, cut, cut. This guy is crazy. All right, let's go up against round 80. See what he's got. He just one shots this OMG, dude. You see that? I'd hope so. Well, look at this. Why is it flying around my banana farm? What? That's hilarious. I want to make more ventral towers. That would be ventral towers are so cool. That was so cool. What is happening? Wait, why is my tag shooter? What is going on? Why is my tag shooter just flying around like a plane right now? All right, that's fine. I'm just gonna. Oh my! Wait, now they just stopped. What's happening? I remember. Oh my this gosh! I why is how this tag over here? This okay, let's was. put Benjamin down. The, All right, we need to this get this mod. Oh, was we gotta put brutal. some dark down. And I'm gonna have no idea. Wait! Oh, we have a little dark. What's happening? What is happening? What right is now? happening? What is on my screen? <laughs> what is on my screen right now? What the heck was that? 
<laughs> what was that? Did just, all the towers just become like so big that they took up the whole screen? That's exactly what happened. That's so good. This mod is, this mod was such a headache to film because it was, it literally was just wacky. It was just super wacky. I had no idea what was going on half the time. Like, what's this? Literally, literally, it made the game really difficult to play. I'm pretty sure I lost many times on this. All of my towers would just eventually get sold. So I'd have to just, look at this. I have all of this, and then I'd click over here, and then they're just all in a different spot. So now we have a Prince of Darkness. I right, see, I ended up getting a bunch of global towers, right? Oh, I remember this. I filmed this a while ago. I thought this was going to be like such a good video. Nobody watched it. I was so sad. It was literally the Joker monkey. Look at this guy. Look how cool this, this monkey looks. It's literally the Joker. And am I just losing here? Oh, no, I didn't. I, I cheated. The, he was pretty weak at the beginning. But once you got to this end part, like, look how powerful he is. We need to get the present for you. And he just started blasting away. He's like, pew, 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 pew. He started doing, like, work. This, this is what the Joker started <laughs> My doing. My mother just brought me a glass of water. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Drink Mom. Drink water, everyone. It's very good for you. Oh, good, so good, good choice. I got to go get some water now. I'll be right back. But now we're going to see what extra Joker Venom is going to look like. <laughs> Let's see. Three, a two. Oh, and boop. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> the crack me up. Okay. I think we, uh, yeah, that's kind of nutty. That's kind of crazy. See, one of the things that I always fall victim to, right, is one of the problems with the content that I film is that when I film videos based on mods around certain towers, like the Joker Monkey, right? I want to just play on cubism because it's the easiest map to like showcase a tower but i want to play on more difficult maps for variety but when you play on harder maps you have to play on more you have to do more strategy involved right like you can't just get away with one tower that's the point of a harder map so it kind of like that's why i play on easier maps a lot of the time just so i can showcase one of the modded towers and stuff okay hit that like button guys there we go. 3,000 likes. Hit that like button. This mod was so cool. Dude, he's <laughs> vibing. He's just like, whoa! <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so you get Ben 10, and you place him down, which is $54,000, but then you can use an ability, which he then transforms into one of the, the monsters, or the aliens, is what we'll call them. And so you can... It's kind of like a random thing of what you would get. If you want to, you could use... If you click, you click the button, and he turns back into Ben. And Ben doesn't do anything. Ben's just a weak weenie on his own and then you have to save up and try to get the um am i, am I just gonna lose here and then he what the heck is he turned into he yeah then he turns into like the bend like the glue a, guy so like i remember the glue a, guy oh was not God, that good because he look how funny that guy looks <laughs> right you can't just make fun really of people the way they look that. that's not very nice the glue guy was definitely one of the worst ones but i love the concept for this tower because we have never really seen something like that because the whole concept of that was that you could change out to different aliens using the ability and like the base tower doesn't do anything i love the concept of that i thought that was a really cool intricate thing that we had for a video and plus it was ben 10 i mean come on i've never seen ben 10 but <laughs> everyone who's seen ben 10 says it was actually so hype. Ninja Kiwi's brand new game, I don't know Balloons what Pop, they've incorporated a whole bunch of new ideas and features into the Balloons universe. Most notably, some of the really cool supercharged towers, such as the Super Plasma Monkey, Corrosive Acid Gunner, as well as the Mega Ballistic Triple Dart Monkey. One of the most cool features is the additions they made to the Sniper Monkey, which allows his projectiles to bounce off the walls all over the place, allowing him to hit tons of different balloons, making them a very new and interesting tower. In today's video, we're going to be taking those same effects and applying it I to a I remember this! This mod was so cool! See. Look at this! So when you had your sniper, look, he I would shoot and it just has this hmm. ballistic missile that because bounces think, oh, wait, all over oh, the yeah, screen. Way slower, but they last 10 times as long. So, for example, I think let's just get a dartling gunner here and we can show you exactly what I mean by this. So we hit play. Look! Look, it shoots so slowly! Oh, I, I bet this is going to be this really one is strong. so cool. Like, I bet this is this mod was so super powerful. hype. I Everything was in slow fire. motion. Oh my. Let's see, what did I end up getting? Oh my gosh! Operation Dart Storm. Wait, I want to see what, what was my reaction to this. Dart Storm, and let's also get Never Miss Targeting. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at those! Yeah, 
That's Look so good. Look at those swarms that, of darts that go like in bees. on a mirror. Like oh, they just home in. They're just taking That's them out. That's so broken. Yeah, I I agree past me. That is busted. This was probably one of my favorite mods that we have ever made on the channel. I thought this was like the coolest mod ever, which was the remote controlled SADA where you could literally move Sada around and you could attack and you also had abilities. It played like a MOBA. You even had an ultimate that you could use that like your sword would spin around. And so you could basically, it completely changed the game to what you wanted to be able to do, right? So like you could save up and then you could do like charges and then you could use your ultimate if like the balloons were getting by. So you use, there you go, the ability and you just spin around and then like you just take out the balloons. This was hands down the coolest mod we've ever made on the channel. I thought this was like gonna be a honestly when we uploaded I thought it was gonna be a viral video But it only got a hundred thousand views which at the time for that channel was not like it really underperformed Like nobody wanted to watch it, which was like so crazy to me like this mod was so hype Literally you're running around with Sada like attacking on your own like I thought this was probably one of the most fun <laughs> I had on a mod oh, like I had literally so much fun Filming this video and like putting and so much work went into it as well. It was a lot. This was a big project. If this project had done well, it could have changed and shaped the channel of how we know it because we probably would have done so many more things like this. Like we would have done things with the boomerang monkey and then tr eventually try different camera perspectives, like adding the camera perspective in there so you actually get to see like Sada. Those are all things that we had planned, but we kind of scraped them because we just, we did or scrapped it because we never, it just, no one was really interested in it. So that was very, very, very interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. If you want to see the actual videos, there's a link to each one that I reviewed in the description down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being awesome. And I'll see you tomorrow for some more balloons content.